Yo, what's up everybody? Jumping here. And today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of Dead Space 3. Showing off the best weapon in the game, which is the Devil's Horns. This is a weapon that you acquire from beating Classic Mode, which isn't really an easy task, but it also isn't that hard. Um, and I would definitely recommend beating Classic Mode because... Um, it, this is a really cool gun and you can actually unlock this gun to all your save files so I mean that's the best part about something like this it's the best weapon in the game there's no question about that um, it's kinda cheap and it would make it makes the game extremely easy so and right now you can get a little look at it bang pew you know it's it's definitely a gimmick but it's it's put in the game, I guess, to make the game easy if you want to. It's like a cheat code almost. Upgrades also do work on this gun. Damage I don't really think matters because this gun practically one-shots everything. But rate of fire does help. You will increase the rate of fire at which you can shoot it. So, But yeah, I mean, it it's amazing. There's no question about that. It's uh, pr pretty pretty awesome too, especially if you were playing with some randoms or something and they didn't know about this gun and you were using it. It would be kind of kind of awesome so I'm gonna be demonstrating it all these clips I'm gonna be showing I'm gonna be showing multiple clips of me using this um, all these clips will be on impossible difficulty just to give you a general idea about how easy this gun can make the game um, would I use this gun probably not honestly um, and I kinda messed up myself because see I beat pure survival mode prior to getting this gun or uh, well prior to beating classic mode so I would say if you were gonna use this gun, the best mode to play with this gun would be pure survival mode because since this gun actually has infinite ammo, yes guys, it has like infinite ammo. There is an ammo limit to it, but it's like 19,000 or 15,000, it's a lot of bullets, so it's pretty much infinite ammo, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, that would really help in something like pure survival mode. And uh, another big problem with pure survival mode that makes it challenging is the fact that uh, you never acquire med packs so you actually have to craft all your med packs and the actual material needed to craft the med packs well they're kinda it's kinda rare to get and uh, that's probably the most challenging part of pure survival mode is just when you play that mode you're not gonna be healing that much so that's something you have to keep in mind um, so a gun like this would really help because obviously enemies don't really even have a chance to get close to you to hit you if you are just blowing them away in like one shot so there you go uh... now classic mode i will give you a couple tips if you guys are thinking about after watching this video saying oh man i want to go get that now um, like i said classic mode isn't the easiest mode out there it isn't that hard though i would say pure survival mode is a lot harder than classic mode Hardcore mode, I don't, I've never attempted that. I have beat every mode in this game but hardcore mode. And I probably will not be playing hardcore mode only because I don't want to break my Xbox. I feel that if I played that mode and I got to like the very end or something and then my head got smashed in with a rock and I died, I would probably destroy my Xbox and um, take the disc and burn it or something. And I just don't want that headache. So I'd rather just avoid the whole situation and just not play the mode ever. But... In general, yeah, this gun could probably help with hardcore mode as well. So that's something to keep in mind. But now classic mode. Like I said, it's not the hardest mode in the game, but it is it is a little it's a little different. Like the first thing about classic mode is that yes, there's no co-op, so it's solo. It's set to hard difficulty, so it's basically like you playing the entire game by yourself on hard mode. The difference is that you cannot assemble your weapons in classic mode there's no weapon assembly you can upgrade your weapons but you can't just go and craft any weapons that you want so you have to use classic weapons now a couple tips about that though all DLC guns to my knowledge can be used in classic mode so if you download some DLC guns you can use them another thing as well which is uh, nice is that if you bought the game and you got the little code that came in the box that gives you the shotgun carbine I can't remember the name of that gun but if you got that gun you can actually use that in classic mode as well and like I said you can upgrade those guns so you know that shotgun gun is really good almost the entire game so that would really help you in classic mode 
And there's a couple of good classic guns as well. Especially there's one which is a sniper rifle, which is called the Seeker rifle. Um, and you should, I think you have the blueprint the second you start the gun. You don't even, I don't think you have to go find the blueprint or anything like that. I think that you just start with all the classic blueprints. Now this right here is just a glitch. I thought I would include it just because, um, I thought it was pretty funny climbing up this mountain. And yeah, well, it's invisible. The mountain is invisible. This is just something, I was thinking about uploading this maybe as a separate video, but I was like, you know, let me just include it into something like this because I think it's funny. But I don't think it's worth me just uploading, so it's pretty pretty cool, I guess. But anyway, back to classic mode. So that sniper rifle I was just talking about, that's really good. Like, that gun can literally one-shot almost every enemy on classic mode, for the most part. So that is the, that, that's by far, like, if you were to use that sniper with the, the shotgun that comes with the game, with the code, uh, yeah, classic mode isn't that challenging. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, that that would be my best tips to give you overall to help you be classic mode. And pure survival mode, like I said, if you want to get that mode done real easily, I would recommend probably this gun. This gun would make that mode extremely easy. You wouldn't have to worry about ammo. You could kill enemies so fast that they probably won't hit you much. So, um, yeah. And that's, that's about it. So, like I said, I hope you could tell, like, this thing is pretty crazy. It is cool. Like, it is definitely a cool weapon as well. The reload is the whole heavy metal thing, you know, rock on. But this is going to be it, so please like this video, please favorite this video, and rock on, guys.